俺の大事なもん傷つけてんだその賢者は今お前の How many gangs does Tokyo Revengers actually have? And what's their real purpose? Tokyo Revengers is a shonen written and illustrated by Ken Wakui, and gangs play a vital part in the series. We'll talk about their formation, leaders, structures, and some interesting facts that you may not know. So get ready about every Tokyo Revengers gang explained. Just keep in mind that this video contains spoilers, so if you only watch the anime, be prepared for some manga information. <laughs> Black Dragon Black Dragon is one of the most important gangs in Tokyo Revengers. There were several generations, but the leader of the first generation was Shinichiro Sano, Mikey's older brother. This generation was the best behaving generation. They had a moral codex they followed and were a noble gang. Some of its important members were Akashi Takeomi, Imaushi Wakasa, and Arashi Keizo, or Benkei. We can say that the purpose of Black Dragon in the anime is to be something Mikey looks up to. The sixth generation was led by Shiba Taiju, a guy you really don't want to cross. Taiju is Hakai's brother, but Hakai still chose to be with Toman. Taiju became a leader because Hajime Kokonoi and Seishu Inui persuaded him to do so. They wanted to bring the Black Dragon back, but it definitely wasn't the gang Shinichi led. The sixth generation of the Black Dragon was extremely brutal and violent, but Mikey took care of them like he always does. <laughs> Ragnarok and Kodo Rengo. These two gangs dominated the Kanto region. Ragnarok was led by Keizo Arashi, while Kodo Rengo was led by Imaushi Wakasa. Basically, these two gangs formed even before Black Dragon. West Kanto was under Ragnarok's rule, and East Kanto belonged to Kodo Rengo. Ragnarok existed a generational structure and had around 600 members, so it was the largest gang in Japan at the time. Its third leader was Benkei. Kodo Rengo was a result of the union of 12 gangs gangs from Eastern Kanto. These two Tokyo Revengers gangs aren't very important to the plot, but at least we know more about some Black Dragon's first generation members. <laughs> Tokyo Manji Gang, aka Toman. If you watch Tokyo Revengers, you know about Tokyo Manji Gang. It's a biker gang led by Sano Manjiro. But its founding members are Baji Keisuke, Mitsuya Takashi, Pachin or Haruki Hayashida, Kazutora Hanemiya, and Draken or Ryuguji Ken. Actually, the founding story is pretty interesting. Kazutora had problems with Black Dragon at the time, so Baji came up with an idea to create their own gang. Mikey has dreams and ambitions, like everyone else in Toman, Mikey's dream is to create a new era of delinquents, which was also his brother's aspiration. Toman is divided into five divisions, and each of them has a captain and vice captain. There was actually a sixth division for some time, and that was the members from Valhalla that merged with Toman. The fifth squad is a special squad of Toman, with Mucho, Yasuhiro Muto, and Sanzu as the captain and vice captain. Its goal is to detect and eliminate the traitors, which is kinda ironic, as Mucho literally betrayed Mikey to go to Izana's side. Some crucial changes happened within the gang, which eventually led to its complete corruption. When Baji sacrificed himself, Kisaki became the third division captain, which was precisely what Takemichi and Baji fought against. Mobius. Mobius is a Shinjuku motorbike gang. It's one of the Tokyo Revengers gangs we get familiar with in the first season. It was known as an extremely repulsive gang. Its temporary leader was Shuji Hanma, as he replaced Nobutaka Osunai after the first battle against Toman. Known as the Battle of August Free and losing its eighth leader, Nobutaka, Hanma organized another clash with Toman. Mobius disbanded after the Battle of August Free, and its remaining members formed under Valhalla. <laughs> Valhalla Valhalla also called the Headless Angel, is a motorbike gang with no official leader, but Shuji Hanma was basically its main man. It's actually formed by Kisaki Teta and the gang itself was a part of his master plan to corrupt Toman. Valhalla mostly consisted of former Mobius members and the anti-Toman force. This is the gang Kazutora Hanemiya joined after leaving the detention center. Even though he's one of Toman's founding members, he believed everything that happened to him was Mikey's fault and he wanted to take revenge. 
So Valhalla was the best option for him. After Bloody Halloween and the clash between Valhalla and Toman, these two gangs merged. So all in all, Valhalla was important because it uncovered more details about Kisaki's plans. <laughs> S62 Generation S62 Generation is one of the lesser known Tokyo Revenger gang names, mostly because it had only 6 members. S62 Generation or the Vicious Generation was a group of extremely violent teenagers led by Izana Kurokawa. He formed it in 2001 at a juvenile detention center. He recruited formidable fighters and they did all kinds of crimes including assault, robbery, and drug trafficking. Apart from Izana, its members are Kanji Mochizuki, Yasuhiro Muto, Haitani Ra Haitani Rindo, and Shion Madarame. After leaving the detention center, they also formed Tenjiku, a bigger and more notorious gang. When Izana died, the group disbanded, but the four remaining members joined Rokuhara Tendai. Tenjiku Okay, this Tokyo Revengers gang should be explained in more detail as it's very important for the plot. Tenjiku, also called Yokohama Tenjiku, is led by Kurokawa Izana, a really intriguing but terrifying character. Fun fact about Izana, he's actually Mikey's and Shinichiro's brother, an important detail is that Kisaki Teta helped Izana to form Tenjiku. Tenjiku's main goal was to get revenge on Mikey and take over Toman. Izana was the supreme authority in this gang, and no one dared to oppose him. No one wants to cross Izana, really. Apart from Izana, there were four heavenly kings or the four strongest fighters of the gang. Other upper members were called executives, and the general chief of staff was Kisaki Teta. He took this position after he was kicked out of Toman. Izana knew that Kisaki had his personal plans, but he let Kisaki use him, so both of them reached their ultimate goal. The gang disbanded after the battle with Toman, where Izana died to protect Kakucho. Brahman Brahman is one of the most important Tokyo Revenger gangs. It was formed in 2006 during Tokyo Sengoku period and led by Kawaragi Senju, Sanzu, and Takeyomi's little sister. She may be the youngest member, but she's a formidable fighter. Draken secretly joined Brahman because he wanted to help Mikey. Even if the situation looked completely hopeless, the main goal of this gang was to defeat Mikey and stop him. This gang began as a group of powerful fighters who ran an underground fighting ring called B1. Members of B1 created Brahman after some time and they were in control of Shinjuku. A very important thing to add is that that some important Black Dragon first generation members were Brahman, including Wakasa and Benke. That's probably why it was influenced by the first generation of the Black Dragon a lot. Also, since the gang formed from a fight club, it was more like a Yakuza gang than a regular motorbike gang. The gang disbanded in the Battle of Three Deities when Mikey won. Senju surrendered to save Takemichi's life. Rokuhara Tandai Rokuhara Tandai is another gang formed in Tokyo Sengoku period. It was led by Terano South. After he spent some time with the S62 generation in the detention center, he formed Rokuhara Tandai when he got out. Haitani Brothers and Kakucho were its notable members. Terano South is an incredibly violent guy who literally killed his own mentor and childhood guardian. So you can imagine what kind of gang Rokuhara Tandai was. However, the gang was disbanded after the Battle of Free Deities, where Mikey killed Terano. Kanto Manji Gang This motorcycle gang is one of Tokyo Revengers gangs formed in the Sengoku period. Even if it's led by Mikey, this gang had no ambition whatsoever. They were more violent and didn't really care about morals. Well, this gang actually led to Bonten, so you get the picture. Its vice president was Sanzu, so that explains why Sanzu was Bonten's second man in one of the present timelines. Kakucho was the defense unit captain, Rain Haitani commanded the special attack force, and Wakasa was the commando unit's captain. Rindo Haitani and Keizo Arashi were vice captains, and the commanding officers were Kanji Mochizuki and Shion Madarame. Hanma also joined Kanto Manji and was in the commando unit. <laughs> Bonten Bonten is Mikey's gang from one of the present timelines. Its recognizable symbol derived from Izana's earrings and the members had it tattooed on the various parts of their bodies. Mikey ended up forming Bonten after defeating Rokuhara Tandai and Brahman. Some of its notable members were Haitani Ran, Haitani Rindo, and Hajime Kokonoi, Sanzu Haruchio, Takeyomi Akashi, and Kakucho. Bonten was a result of Brahman, Rokuhara Tandai, and Kanto Manji Gang's union. This criminal syndicate was the most ruthless 
members an immoral gang in Tokyo Revengers, it was known for drug trafficking, murder, prostitution, fraud, and many other crimes. It seems that we can see its main members' worst personality traits very clearly. Bonten was kinda a physical manifestation of Mikey's dark impulses. What's more, it's like this darkness spread onto its members as well. <laughs> So here's all the Tokyo Revengers gangs explained. Since the manga has ended, there won't be any additional parts to this video. But stay tuned for more Tokyo Revengers info and other anime insights.